Hello, this is Ninhitfan2000 speaking, and I want to talk to you about something. So, at the end of my Sally Mally cartoon review, I teased that I will be reviewing an obscure live-action children's series from Wales called Rala Rodins. Now, if you don't know what that show is, or what Rala Rodins is, it's a show that was based on a series of books by Angharad Thomas, who first wrote these books as far back as 1983. The first book was about a witch named Rarodins, whose job is handling weather duties, like painting the clouds and the skies. She then meets a young witch named Rudlan, who would become her apprentice. Later in the book, we see that Rudlan has a mischievous personality to her, and is even clumsy at times. And Harad wrote more books to the series, including making new characters, like Keridwen, a Dewendul, a Dewendoif, a Chiprin Freud and the main antagonist of the series, Strempan. These books would later be adapted for television in 1995 on S4C on its morning block, Slot Mayfrin, making this the only children's series in Wales to adapt its stories from the books, as other shows like Tequina Chakdor and Sally Mali made original stories rather than taking notes from the original source material. The series ran for about three seasons as it got cancelled in 1997, but that did not stop it from having reruns when it continued to air on Planet Plant Bach, all the way before the Q rebrand, as episodes did not air on that block. Now, the series did get a VHS release one year later after it first premiered, making it the only VHS tape to exist. However, eight years later, the series saw a DVD release in 2004 by Sign Records, featuring seven episodes from the series. And I don't know what those seven are. But, after the DVD was released and when the TV series stopped airing, everything went quiet. S4C had not got any plans to revive it or give it any reruns, as they were currently busy producing new shows for younger kids. New books were being written by Anghara Thomas and nothing about the television series was spoken about people on the internet. No episodes or clips have surfaced online, nobody, maybe some, recalled watching it when they were little, and the television series was thought to be forgotten. Until... My mother and I will be able to get the DVD from the DVD. And my Rala Routines have been able to get the DVD from the DVD from the DVD. Mwy o helyntion gyto gwningen ar Rala Routines nawr ar DVD. Yes, that's right. Sign Records on their YouTube channel announced that they will be releasing another Rala Routines DVD. And nobody was excited about it, as they're probably like, Oh, look, it's Rala Rudins. Haven't seen her for a long time. As there's barely any comments on that video, and that there was only 8 seconds of footage in the promo. Despite this, that was the first time the Rala Rudins television series was shown on YouTube. Unfortunately, no episodes have surfaced yet. That was until three years later, in 2019, Welsh YouTube user Orarchiv, Welsh for From the Archive, uploaded an episode from the TV series called Trusor y Dewin Doif, which is Welsh for the Wise Wizard's Treasure if none of you speak Welsh. He wouldn't upload more until in July of that year, five more episodes of Rala Rudin surfaced online, with some of them being adaptations from the books. Except, one was missing. The episode Govali Amatoiv, which is presumably adapted from the first Rala Rudin's book, hasn't been uploaded. Orarchiv didn't say anything about the first episode on the tape that he ripped from. It was likely that he would have at one point, but didn't for no explanation given. It doesn't help that nobody is asking Orarchiv if he will upload more episodes or not as they just didn't care somehow. And that also, the user has been inactive since. It's unknown why he stopped uploading videos or why he bothered to find more tapes. 
he didn't announce that he would be retiring or anything like that, so it's sad to say that we won't find any trace of he's still around. As for the first episode itself? Well, you could say that what's lost in the past cannot be found. Well, think again, my friends. It's in my grandmother's house. <laughs> Yeah, just like the Planet Plant Bar tapes I've rewatched, I found out that my grandma has the one and only Rala Rodin's tape kept in her house, along with the Tequin Attractor VHS. I've only watched the first episode on that tape, and that was it. I'm not sure if I may be able to watch it again as my grandmother's currently in the hospital and we would have to wait until we come to her house. So, if this video manages to reach a thousand views, or not, like my review of Tekken Attractor, people will surely buy those two DVDs, find that missing VHS, rip the episodes online, and upload them to YouTube. And I'm sure it will likely happen as my last two videos have not reached a thousand views, for some reason. And there are barely any people commenting on my videos, except for this one user who really likes my content, and people aren't responding to me. Now, I'm making this video to tell you why I'm not going to be doing a review of the Rala Rudin's television series, as only six episodes have surfaced online, and nobody bothered to find more episodes and put them on YouTube. I think they're just busy watching stuff that's more for their age, like Love Island, Gogglebox, or The Masked Singer, and they've likely never heard of the phrase, Lost Media. So, if any of you watching this video, if it reaches a thousand views, please let me know in the comments as I'm just addressing this problem out. Anyway, instead of me doing a review of Rala Rudins, I'm going to be reviewing another obscure live-action children's series. It did get surfaced online via a DVD release, and a lot of people seem to forget about it. I'm talking about Barig. <laughs> Hint, I'm hint, they answer, do I?